Hi, my name is Dr. Thad Cox, and I'm a mental health clinician in Austin, Texas. And um, I spend most of my time working with clients, learning from them, and integrating some of the knowledge I have from the psychodynamic tradition with what I find in practice. And um, really, it's been enjoyable for me to uh, keep a blog and write about this. And I've, um, I've had the intention of uh, doing more education of the public because frankly the things we talk about in therapy sessions seem to be really helpful for my clients and although there's a rich psychodynamic tradition that I draw from in understanding people and our defensive structures and how that interacts in our relationships in the society I haven't seemed to notice that this is an area where there's a sufficient level of uh, discussion. You know, we we have conversations, and I'm sure there's plenty out there on TikTok and YouTube about narcissists or um, borderline personality disorder or, you know, a number of really valuable topics from the world of mental health. But in terms of the, the general fabric of how these things come together, and what that implies for our, our maturational processes and how we can understand ourselves through the lens of these, um, these frameworks individually um, and to understand and really appreciate the diversity of psychological experience um, and uh, stagnation. I think that's an area where the public really deserves more knowledge, more familiarity. And that's what I'm intending to do with this series of video, um, I guess, video essays. I hope to incorporate some material from film and popular culture. But to get started, I'd, I'd like to just go ahead and set out some of the, some of the basic foundations that will help you to understand this material. So um, there are a number of authors that I'll be drawing from. Um, Stephen Johnson is probably at the top of the list for what I intend to talk about today. Um, he, his, his primary text, Character Styles, really goes into detail on a number of these sort of, um, um, I guess you could call them existential orientations to um, what it is that, uh, that causes us to develop certain personality structures. And so obviously there's a lot to a personality. There's um, artistic expression, how we experience and show love. There's um, there's so much to what we are as people. And this in no way is um, threatened or subsumed by some analytical orientation to teasing apart what makes everyone tick. But there are some really characteristic patterns that are, are worth talking about. And I think it's really helpful if everyone starts to inquire as to what their own defensive structures might look like. And so this is a framework of different defensive structures that are common. And of course, um, even within each of these, there, there can be quite a lot of diversity. So um, I hope to fill in some of the gaps and um, start a new dialogue that hopefully extends far beyond me and my practice. So that's what I'll be here doing. Thank you for joining.